Hello, I'm Drawing Pin, and welcome to my let's play of this war of mine where we are playing as survivors in a war torn city. And in the last episode, we did pick up a new survivor actually, uh, it's like Anton, I think it was, uh, but he seems to have no discernible skills. Uh, you know, Bruno's a cook, uh, Katia's like a, uh, a bargaining person, and um, Pavel is like a runner, whereas he's a mathematician, so. I'm hoping that's going to come into good and he's good at crafting stuff or something like that. I think he was also wounded and ill as well, I think, or he got wounded. He was certainly ill anyway, so yeah, not a great start. But still, it's another pair of hands that we can uh, use to defend the place or, uh, you know, uh, work or whatever in the day. So that's good. And we were just did some trading as well. We got some bullets, a few water filters, a bit of sugar, some pure alcohol. And then I looted... Uh, like most of these components, I think there's like the semi-detached house, detached house, whatever it is, uh, where the trader lives. Um, so there's uh, quite a bit of good stuff there. And also the uh, supermarket as well, we looted that and we started to pile a lot of stuff outside. So we're probably just going to hit some of those places. Let's carry on. Probably just going to hit some of those places. She's very hungry. Let's go and let her grab a meal. Uh, let's go and see how everybody else is doing. He's slightly wounded, recovering. Very hungry, very tired, and slightly sick and recovering. Okay. Oh boy. Um, I think we'll get Bruno up to make some food. Or do we just eat? We could just eat the canned food. I think that would. Uh, I think that would help. Uh, that's still down. Okay. Let's get Bruno up. Uh, that's not Bruno. Uh, where's Bruno? There he is. Oh, he's up here. Oh, yeah, we do have three beds, don't we? Of course, I forgot about that. Let's get Katia to go to sleep. Uh, he needs he needs food. So, I really want that vegetable garden. Mm, I think Bruno can get up. He can work. Uh, Pavel's been up all night. He's got to go to sleep. And he's very hungry as well. And yeah, I say at the moment this guy's just sick. So, oh, hello, is that the trader? Hey, that's the trader. Right, okay. Uh, you're gonna have to get up. You come down here then, and do you know what? You may as well go back to bed for a bit whilst we do that trade. You come down here. You're only tired. I don't. No, you did go out, didn't you? Yes. <clears throat> so yeah, there's a lot of people tired, and yeah, we probably need to. Uh... I know how much I risk. You know how much I risk to get here. Yeah, we're coming, dude. There we are. Let's see what he's got now. We want to do some wheeling and dealing if we can. Uh, sugar is probably a top priority. There we go. Sugar. I want all the sugar that you've got. What do we have? We only have one bottle of moonshine left. It's a fighting deal. That's good. Well, that'll make us three bottles. That's good. Um, we don't have much wood and we don't have many components. I kind of want to trade... Uh, maybe like some medicine or something. Uh, what else? He's got no vegetables or food or anything. Uh, he's got some canned food, but we've got some canned food for a bit. Uh, we need to, we really need that vegetable garden. So to be honest, we kind of need uh, wood and stuff, don't we, really? I know that's probably not the best thing to trade for, but... Um, very generous of you, okay. Or if we take that out... How much can we get? Okay. Well, we could do that. I think that's probably a good start. Let's deal that. I want materials to make that veg garden. and um, So we're going to trade that. Uh, we've got plenty of sugar. We've got some water. I wonder if that very common stuff not very interesting. Okay. And what about a knife? No, I don't think I really want to trade that with you either. Books. We don't want to trade the books either. Um, but well, we'll put the bottle of moonshine in because that's uh, that's a given. We've got 24 components and 12 wood. Let's see how much wood we can get. Okay. So we'll do that for the wood. Could we get like one component? Might as well try and eke out as much as we can. Let's deal that. And then... Will he hang around at the door uh, just while we go and check what we actually need to build that thing? Um, I feel like we probably need to trade some more wood. 
and uh, all the components he's got to be honest. Should actually put something into trade and oof, do we put like a it's very generous of you, okay. Let's take a water filter. What about the bullets? We could probably do the bullets right, we're probably running low, we've got ten bullets, so Okay, what about if we took out some of those components? Get another one of those. I know that's, that's, I'm not sure whether that's a good idea to be honest, that is real meds, but at the same time I really want this stuff so we can start building. Um, Joe, you know we're going to do it, and then I kind of want you to just run up there and check. Uh, we'll send him away, let's send him away. Let's see if we can build the herb garden. Uh, that's really what I want. Do you know what? No, actually, you start making water. Um, we could just start uh, selling water, actually, couldn't we, as well? That would be a good one. I think someone put that in the comments, actually. Trade water, that would be a good one. Um, so, yeah, we'll let all those get, get some sleep. You're actually, apart from you're tired, we're actually okay. But I think uh, we'll probably get, like, Parvel to go out and do the looting. So, uh, you might as well just stay up. You've not, Apart from you're hungry, I haven't really got anything else wrong with you. Uh, let's see. Okay, we can only make uh, can only make three at a time. I guess we can only do three at a time. That's fine. Let's make three. That is okay by me. And then we'll come up there. We will um, put them another filter on. And uh, yeah, well, I really want like a farm of some sort, herbal farm, vegetable farm. That's uh, that's really what I want. So let's come up here and we will, uh, what are we, 12 o'clock, okay, we've still got plenty of time, it's 8 o'clock when it ends. Um, we really need the others to get some food as well. Um, but vegetables are going to be really top priority for us, I think. So let's make another load of water. We can trade that as well, I think that'll be a decent trading commodity. As well, trade for a couple of water filters and, you know, if we can give them like, if we could trade a couple of water fills for like 10 water or something, then uh, we'd be making a little bit of water back. So that, that would be worth it. Okay, let's come over here. And damn, we need two bits of wood. Ah, son of a... Okay, ah, damn it. There's nothing left to cut up, is there? I think I've chopped up all the furniture as well. Ah, uh, there's the chair. Do you know what? We're going to cut the chair up. Oh, I want that farm. We need that farm for food, I think, anyway. So I'm going to cut that up. There we go. She's cutting that chair up. I think that is the last thing, unfortunately. This could get us a little bit of uh, fuel as well, back as well, so that would be okay. Two wood and two fuel. That didn't get us a lot. Uh, but we could always go um, to the supermarket. There was actually loads of wood there, wasn't there, to chop up, thinking about it. Um, so we we possibly just going to go out and do a lot of um, just collecting supplies, um, you know, just uh, components and wood and that sort of thing. I think rather than anything else. So we want that. I want to build that thing. Herbal garden. Where can I put this? Uh, where will it let me put this? Do I have to put it outside or? I mean, for me, I'd have to put it outside, but, you know. Um, oh, it can go down here. Okay. That's interesting, I guess. Can we put it anywhere else? I mean, to be honest, I'm kind of tempted to put it down there just because this is kind of our production area. So, yeah, let's put it down there. Why not? Let's put it down there. We've got our kind of production line here, so... We might as well just carry that on, I guess. Uh, there we are. Everybody's recovering. Uh, you're just tight. You're just really hungry, so that's okay. Let her build this now. Uh, we'll have to remember to go. Hopefully, Pavel will just get up, but he's very. He was very tired, so I suspect he won't. I'll have to try and remember to wake him up and get some food. And uh, Katia's probably going to stay home and just guard. And the other two can stay in bed and hopefully they recover from their wounds and 
sicknesses and stuff naturally uh, without expending any uh, resources. Okay, right. First of all, ah, we can. Okay, so we produce fertilizer from that, or we produce herbs, and we need water. Okay, kind of just want to upgrade it straight away. So we need wood and we need uh, components. That's good to know. Got everything else, we just need wood and components. That is absolutely fine. Let's grab all the, uh, let's grab all that. And to be honest, we might as well make some like uh, bandages or something, might we? And some uh, herbal meds, I think. Uh, start making some of this stuff. That's good. Yeah, I really want to get that upgraded, and that's going to get us a food source, uh, which is something we desperately need. We might even need to put another one of these traps in, to be honest. I'm kind of thinking we might do that. Put two traps in. One or one is just basically going to supply the food to trap, and then we'll get two food. Basically, you get food back, don't you? It's, I don't know whether it's worth it, to be honest, but uh, I think it probably is. Uh, let's get Parvel up because uh, he needs to eat and I think he's going to be the man to go out and do a run I think I think we might take the hatchet and um, go back to the supermarket and just clear it up I think we've got almost everything out of it but uh, there was lots of furniture and stuff that we could chop up I feel like that's probably the good place to go to be honest uh, you grab some uh, can of food because yeah it's almost time for there we go right let's end the day we might as well now we're kind of ready uh, you stay in bed uh, you stay in bed you're not gonna scavenge uh, you guard and you're gonna come out and scavenge and we're probably gonna go back to the supermarket it's like huge amounts of weapons and some meds there is a load of wood to chop up um, construction site that could be a good one for us Danger though, uh, whatever we scavenge the rebels left behind, but there might be a risk of encountering military patrols. Possible trade at the hotel, that kind of rubbish as I remember, but I think it was just random. A warehouse, brothel, possible trade. Uh, basically got to steal stuff, haven't we really, I guess, but we're coming down to that. Quiet house. Let's... Let's risk the construction site. I think we're going to risk the construction site. Let's go there. We'll take a crowbar with us, just in case there's anything to break open. Uh, but I think other than that, we'll just leave it. We're largely just after building materials, and the construction site, to me, sounds like it's a good idea, but I don't know. Let's let's do it. Um, we'll just try and, we'll just try and avoid everybody, basically. But I'm largely after building materials. We'll ignore this one. And we're just going to sneak our way in and just go quiet. Be as quiet as a mouse if we can. And let's just not run. Do any of that stuff. That looks pretty. Can we get down there? Oh, yeah, we can. Cool. Let's uh, search that. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Let's grab it all. I'm not sure the teddy bear does that have any. Does that have any use or not? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know how I get down there, so we'll uh, we'll ignore that. Don't want to run. I think we're just going to take it easy. I'll leave it zoomed out as well, so I can see any red uh, red blips. So there's somewhere outside. Uh, that could be a nice little stockpile area of stuff that we could uh, put away. So I'm assuming it said danger, so I'm assuming people are here. Not seeing anybody though. Okay. And sneak quietly. Okay. We're getting from both sides. Let's grab all the components. Oh, hang on. Oh, are they? Where are they going? Do they already know I'm here? Hopefully they don't. I can't see how they do, but... Can I not get through there? Damn, how do I get anywhere? Or do I go over there? And maybe I have to go over there. Is that her? 
Oh, that might be a ramp actually, can we? It looks like that's barricaded off, maybe. Yeah, I think there's like a barricade there. Can we get, just walk over there? Okay, we can. Right, there's plenty of stuff here. Let's just loot what we can. Ooh, that's good. I like the electrical component. Teddy bear, to be honest, I'm not too worried about it. And one piece of wood I'm not that bothered about either. Uh, we had well we need wood and components don't we I think we've got enough components we really need wood ah damn take those leave those oof okay uh, a torn flyer entitled proclamation reads here in our ancient capital Vesin are at home and no one will no billet and uh, will no longer abide by the oppression the Republic of Versin with its uh, capital in Progen, Perger, Progen I think that's where we are I'm probably absolutely butchering all these words and uh, within the borders uh, according to of the treaty uh, fuck all your treaties and proclamations okay I read that terribly sorry about that <laughs> Maybe I'll just leave it up and you guys can read it. That's probably a better way of doing it, I think. Uh, did we check that? I think we already checked that pile. No, we crossed over and dropped down, I think, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, I don't want to get too far in, was it? Ooh, wood. I mean, to be honest, if we can sneak in this bottom level and just take all of the... Uh, oh, actually, there was a component space as well. I just noticed as we clicked out. We can carry an extra component. There we go. So I mean, if we can just get in here and just grab all this stuff without anybody bothering us, then that's that's fine by me. I'm absolutely okay with that. So I'm assuming we can drop down into that hole. Can we get over here? Yeah, it seems like the top floor is kind of dangerous territory can I just climb up there no it won't budge okay um, do you know what I think that's good for now we've grabbed, we've grabbed a bunch of stuff oh, we, do we come back and grab some more and just pile it in this pile out here could do that couldn't we I kind of like that idea of just having a pile out the front that we could just drop straight in grab it and leave but I, I don't want to run about just in case I uh, upset these guys because I'm assuming they're heavily armed we didn't actually check this pile so uh, that's probably a good idea check the pile so there's a ton of wood in there do you know what I, to be honest I think I'm just going to leave it do we no let's let's put the parts and we'll put the electrical things back and we'll grab more wood because I, I don't remember the exact numbers that we need but uh, I want to take as much of this back as we can I want that vegetable garden all right let's get out of here we'll come back I think well this is another place we'll come back to as well that's pretty good uh, they seem like they're on the top floor so the bottom floor is just full of components and um, you know bits of wood and things that we need so I think that's good and did we get raided I'm hoping we didn't because there was a curb on crime so I'm hoping that means they're not uh, letting us get raided there we go perfect we did not get raided I like it that's good right you come back there how are they doing oh, they're still ill Without food, we'll die. We must search harder for it. Yeah, I know, dude. Sad, very hungry. Okay. Come down and get some food. At least he's not um, hes not wounded. You're just very tired. You're very tired as well, so you might as well go to bed. And we'll get Bruno to do everything today, I think. You might as well grab a bite to eat. First things first, first we want to come down here and uh, upgrade this thing. 
That is my top priority. And then we can plan for vegetables. Uh, that is absolute must. Because uh, that's what I really want. Oh, sorry. I want to upgrade it. Not. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't, don't chop it up. <sighs> no, don't chop it up. <laughs> oh, son of a... Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Damn it. Well, that was close. Almost chopped up the uh, thing we've just built. Um, oh, that is a night. Someone's at the door. Help, please help me. Okay. Um, come here. Let's talk to this guy. What does he want? Thank you for opening the door. Thank goodness you're here. A shell hit a tenement down the, down the street and people are buried underneath the rubble. Please help me. Pull them out. Every pair of hands is needed. We'll organise a makeshift hospital for the wounded. I have some beds and medical supplies. Will you help? Uh, give me a second. Uh, do we want to send him? Do we want to send this guy? Kind of useless, isn't he? Very tired. Everyone's very tired. Do you know what? We'll send Bruno. Yeah, dude, I'm here. Man. I, I, I get it, but, you know. Yeah, let's go then. Let's let Bruno go. I'm going to get this loser up and just... I'm glad we helped the people from that collapsed house. Uh, it was the right thing to do. That's good. Right, yeah, I'm not overly infused with this guy. Um, he's just been ill for the entire time that we've been here. Uh, let's grab some food. Oh, speaking of food, is that filled now? That hasn't filled up yet. I think, to be honest, we kind of need to go back. Um, you might as well... Do I want to expend any more meds on you? I don't think I do. No, we don't want to expend any more meds. I've got like a load of... I've got four boo... Okay, right, that's four boos and then three pure alcohol. We could go and do some more trading, actually. Uh, but I, I'm kind of tempted to just go back to that um, construction site, to be honest, because there's loads of materials there. That's kind of what we're lacking more than anything. Um, actually, let's just get you to do a uh, water filter quick. And then I think Pavel's just going to go back there. How's everybody doing? Content. Very tired. Uh, if a shell hit, our, uh, shell hit our shelter, we could be in a similar situation to those people. They could count on us. Uh, I hope we can count on them. Yeah, that's good. And he's probably got a similar thing to say. We just had to help our neighbours. They probably would have done the same for us. Yeah. Well said. There we go. So the question is, do we go trading or do we go more looting? I'm kind of erring on the side of trading, uh, on the side of looting, to be honest. Get back to that construction site and see if we can get a little further in and just grab more materials. I think that's what we need. We also need food as well. Um, that, that much we do need, but uh, I think that is the way to go. Yeah, let's end the day. Because uh, Bruno will be gone for the entire day anyway. So we may as well do that. Everybody else might as well get some shut eye. And I'm just hoping he's sick. Hopefully bed rest will just help him out there. Uh, I think you can scavenge. You can guard. And you sleep in a bed again. And hopefully you recover and become useful. Because at the moment you're not being that useful <laughs> I have to say. Scavenger, okay, just a scavenger. I wonder if it, uh, uh, yeah, good mathematician. He doesn't have any skills. That is a big, big issue. But uh, okay, uh, right. Abandoned cottage. There is nothing there. I think we're going to go back to this construction site. It's just huge amounts of materials. There's not a huge amount left there. I mean, there is stuff there, and we could take the axe and chop up for a load of wood and stuff. But I think for the most part, we've done a pretty good decent job of cleaning it up there's a load of weapons which is going to be good military outpost for the trade we could try that eventually but i think we're just going to hit that uh, hit that again it's like the semi-detached house uh, there's loads of stuff i think that's because of the trade 
shelled school it's like you know we kind of cleared that out for the most part yeah I think we go construction site and I don't think I'm going to take a weapon this time I'm just going to fill up on materials I think yeah let's do it we'll probably find something where I need the crowbar now but um, I'm not going to go for it I'm just going to sneak in uh, we'll sneak as far as we can in again Yeah, get out, get as far as we can in, and try and grab some more. We'll leave all the wood out the front, but we need, we need like, uh, there was like four materials and three wood or something like that. So uh, get a few stacks of components and uh, wood, and then we should be good to go then. So try and get as far as we can in. I'm just going to sneak again. It's going to be slow, but uh, I think that is the way to go. Is there anybody actually? Here. Not seeing anything. I mean, are they still here? I hope not, to be honest. Uh, you know, that really helped me out if they weren't here. But uh, I don't know if they are. Yeah, we can't get up that side. Okay, let's, oh, let's continue up this side. Can we climb up there at all? No, okay. Probably got to climb up the ladder. So I, I'm not seeing anybody yet. That doesn't say that, means to say that there aren't people here. Because they must be here somewhere. Feels like this is going to be a mistake. Feels a bit dangerous up here, to be honest. But uh, if they're not here, then I think looting this now is probably the way to go. Oh wow! Look at all that. I mean, we kind of need to grab all that. So like if nobody is here, I kind of want to loot this place now. Oh damn! I should have looked through the door. That was a ah. There we go. Yep, I need the crowbar, of course. Food. We want that. <sighs> to be honest, we're going to drop some of this stuff off because we want that food. So it's it's a, it takes up a lot, but I think it's worth it. Let's have a look at that. I didn't look through that door. That was a really stupid mistake. So I don't think anybody's here. To me, it seems empty. There were people here last time. There doesn't appear to be anybody here now. Well, I think we come down here and try and open this. Uh, this door was barricaded somewhere around here, wasn't it? Was it this one? I think it might have been this one. Uh, one of these doors was barricaded anyway. And then I think we're just going to run through and probably start grabbing some materials from some of these upper levels just in case when we come back people are here. Um, and just stockpile them outside, I think. Can we, yeah, let's break the barricade down on that door. Then we can uh, get through there. That's a quicker access for us. It doesn't appear to be anybody here, as far as I can tell. Unless they're in this little bit up here somewhere, or right on the top floor, just being really quiet. Then there's nobody there, as far as I can tell. So I'm going to start running, I think. Use your uh, talents of being a fast runner, I think. And we will just unload. I don't know if there's a limit to this uh, pile. But we'll just unload absolutely everything. And then we're going to run back. Get up there and we will uh, just, just carry on looting this place, I think. And just try and strip the top floor and work our way down, I think. I'm just going to run. I don't think that I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but it's great. Right, let's grab that. Yeah, it's just so many components here. Oh, hello. What's there? Oh my. Oh wow. Okay. 
Okay, let's go back. I'm not sure how to get there. Okay, can you get there? Thank you. Let's keep going. This dude's going to use his running ability uh, really well. Yeah, let's see if we can get back up there and get another haul. I don't know if there's any other quick way to transfer this than transfer all, but uh, yeah, that is a load of stuff. Can we uh, get back up there? I'm just going to keep running up here and grabbing it. Um, we'll make this our last haul, to be honest, um, just because uh, yeah, it's getting it's getting late in the day. Um, do we go? Let's go up further just in case. We need to bring a crowbar back to break into that bit. So yeah, there's a cupboard here. I want to look in that. I think I might have already looked in that actually. Yeah, let's grab all that. Um, do we go up the top? Let's run back. Let's just let's get here and just get quick. Let's do this. There doesn't appear to be anybody here, so let's grab it all. Let's get down here now. Let's get out here because we're all. Uh, Getting late. Let's keep going, man. It's four o'clock. We are uh, going to hit that time soon. I think it's five o'clock, so we uh, really need to get out here. Pushing it late, but I think it's worth it. Right. So we can grab some more of these components. Grab some more. Uh, actually, we want to grab that food. We'll just take the vegetables. I don't think we really need the food. We, it's here. We, we've got it outside. I think we're okay. I think, to be honest, we'll take the wood. Um, I think that's what we're going to do with that. And then we've got plenty of materials to then build, which is uh, really handy. Now there we are, day 22, that's perfect. We're getting out, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know how long this game goes on for, but uh, I am really enjoying myself still, so that's good. Did we get raided? Ah, damn it. We got raided. Anton clearly isn't well, he could do with some pills. Oh, this dude, man, he's bloody useless. Bruno returned after help and uh, pull out some people from the buried uh, buried under that collapsed apartment. Uh, someone tried to rob us, uh, van rob us. Yeah, they didn't actually get anything. They didn't steal anything. They used five bullets. Anton isn't clearly isn't well. He could do with some pills. So we're going to have to give him full. I think we're going to give him full strength meds and try and try and clean him, bit, clear him out in the next episode because uh, bed rest ain't working. Herbal meds ain't working. So I think we got to. Uh, I think we're going to have to up the game and use our bottle of actual medicine to just try and heal this guy. Uh, he doesn't really have any discernible skills, but at least it's somebody else that can help defend and just, you know, do things around the place when the other three, who are a lot more important in my opinion, have skills. Um, you know, they can, they can be doing their thing or resting or whatever, and he can just be doing the making the moonshine and the odd jobs, I think. Um, so that's what I want with that guy. But uh, it's a shame he wasn't a scavenger or something else, you know, another runner, another bargaining person, whatever, but... Oh well, it's another it's another body, but it is another mouth to feed as well, so that is an issue. But uh, we need to get that vegetable garden up and running ASAP, I think. But we should have the materials now. There's a massive pile of materials at that uh, construction site, so I think we've got some buildings that we can just go back to and just completely strip clean of everything. Uh, the supermarket, and um, there's still that semi-detached house. Um, the uh, construction site, we've got a load of materials there. Even if we just go in grab out of that pile there's a ton of stuff there but I think I prefer to adventure further in if there's nobody there and just take advantage of that and get all the stuff off the top floor because that's probably where the enemies are going to be um, but uh, yeah I think I am going to call this one here anyway and end the episode so if you like that one please give me a thumbs up comment with your thoughts down below subscribe for more I really do appreciate it stay safe out there everyone and I'll catch you next time